Good day guys, Austin here, and today's tutorial or guide will be Nintendo 64. Right, um, first off, as always with this current set of tutorials, you will need RetroArch installed. If you haven't got that already installed, then follow this link on the screen now. Okay, if you have got it installed, my apologies, let's get on with it. And first off, take yourself to the mega link in the description below. Over there, as always, you will see, well, a mega link with files inside it. Download the files. They should end up if you set it up as default on your desktop. So you should have a file something like this on your desktop. N64 and in here is all the files that you will need to get your system looking and running like mine. Um, it's a 7-zip file, so as always, um, in my case, I right-click, 7-zip, and I extract here. Once you've done that, you should end up with a folder similar to this one. And in here, as always, you've got the README file. Make sure you read the README, very important. And also, my little signature to tell everybody where it's come from. And media and the databases. Basically, the two drag-and-drop folders that enable all the art and gubbins that you will need in the Nintendo 64 to be able to work on your system. Right, okay, we are cruising. I want to smash this one as fast as possible. Um, right, let's just do it. Hell's bells and cockle shells, let's get it sorted. So, put that out of the way at the moment. Okay, first off we will, um, what can we do first? I'll tell you what, let's get it all in there so it's up and running and ready for us to enable. Okay, first off then, go to your Hyperspin uh, folder. So mine's in my D drive and Hyperspin folder. And there we go. As always, where we left it last time, the Hyperspin setup. Um, what do we need first? <laughs> Quite a lot of alcohol on the weekend, so my brain is a bit fried today. Uh, right, first off, Hyperlaunch is loaded up. Let's get that sorted. Takes a while, come on. Keep with me today, keep with me. Okay, has it got N64? Yes, so we don't need to add it. So we've already got in the Nintendo 64 added as default in the Hyper HQ. Um, let's minimize that a second so we don't need to do any more with that. Uh, what we will need to do is these two folders, the database and media, as you can see inside your Hyperspin folder, they correspond with two folders in the also databases and media. What we need to do is drag these over to this folder so what will happen is these will all merge with each other, magic will happen and the gods of games will enable us to have all new art and also all new databases. I hope. <sighs> okay, do you want to replace? Yes. Yes I do. Never ask me ever again. Okay, so click out of that one and as you can see well, it's done what it's done. <laughs> so let's get back into HyperHQ and start setting this puppy up. Right, we know that we are going to be running this through RetroArch. So let's get this ball rolling. First off, we need to click on Nintendo 64. We've already set up RetroArch in the global settings in previous ones. If you haven't, then again, it's in the RetroArch guide. So make sure you should have clicked the link before to get to that stage. However, if not, again, I'm waffling. So click on the Nintendo 64 in the left hand pane. At the top, make sure you clicked into emulators, and here we have ROM paths and default emulator. Right, so what we need to do is tell it where your ROMs are, where all the games are. So in my case, I've got, um, where's, which one's this held in? I think this is in my Hyperspin drive. In my ROMs, let's look for Nintendo 64. Where are you? There we go, Nintendo 64. Okay. And default emulator, well, easy, easy peasy, RetroArch. And there we go. So we're using RetroArch to run Nintendo 64, and well, it's all tickety boo. So let me see what else we mean, need to set up. Settings, I think all mine are compressed, so I will need to turn on 7-zip. I believe it may not work, let's give it a go anyway. But I've turned it on for now. If it doesn't work, then all I'm going to do is turn that off. Um, bezels, yeah, why not, eh? Let's get them rocking. I've included bezels, I've included the fade, I've included the wheels, I've included box art, I've included the themes, 
the car art, I've included everything that you will need to get the system up and running. All you need to do is basically tweak it to how you want it. So what I've done now is I've told it that I'm running um, compressed files. I've told it that I want to use a bezel. It's up to you if you want to do it. You, your own free will. And now hopefully I should be able to... Yep, it's seen all the games. It knows that we're rocking with all these games. It looks like I've got an entire collection. 203 of 303. Um, Let's click on one and see if it rolls. However, before I do this, I'm going to make sure that the fades set up correctly because it annoys me when I get certain things popping up. This is only a car art, so although it's compressed, it would only take seconds for it to uh, uncompress and play. So I don't want the annoying uh, percentage complete because it's going to go from 0 to 100% in a matter of seconds. So what I want to do is tweak my fade. Uh, everything is set up as global, which is good because the global settings is good. If you haven't done that, then have a look at the hyper launch and rocket launch uh, guides. We go into more detail on this one. However, we've already set everything up in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for fade progress, I believe it is. And in fade progress, I'm going to change animation type to image because I only wanted to show the image. Basically, it says now loading in the middle of the screen. Uh, and the show 7 zip progress, no I don't because it will go from 0 to 100% in a matter of, well, instantaneous most probably. So it will be pointless having that. So show press, uh, 7 zip progress, false. Okay, now I think I've done the bezel, I've done the fade, fade general, no we don't have to mess around with anything else around here. I think this puppy should be running. So, go on to your games tab. Click on the blue icon, it will load it. All your systems might have already done, I've just done there. I'm gonna click on a Donkey Kong 64 and I'm gonna see test to see if the system actually works. Come on. Loading it. Loading complete. Make my dreams come true. Come on, hyperspin. You know you can do it. Okay! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. <laughs> First time lucky. Okay, as you can see, you've got your bezel included. You don't have to use this bezel. You can download whatever bezel you want. I don't care as long as you get it running. If you have any troubles, then just get in touch with me in any of the systems. Um, I've now got Facebook. I've got uh, Google Plus, whatever it is. I've got Twitter. Ensure you keep tabs on them because they give up updates. And yeah let's have some fun then right so we've got this set up bezels are working systems working as always I've already shown you this about a thousand times go down to the settings arrows navigate through the options menu F1 brings up this option menu um, X is to say OK and get me into the next stage so X that'll bring me into this one and Z is to go back so what I can do here is go into my video options um, custom ratio I can then move the screen around again RetroArch um, video tutorial for this one it shows you everything you need to know and um, press X again once that's good move the right hand side up and down and the bottom up and down yeah, that's good. It was already good to be honest, so I didn't need to change anything. Okay, once all that's done, press Z to come out of that one. Then you can have a look at your input options. I've got it set up for a pad, and yeah, it should be good to go. Yeah. Again, if you want to look at anything and how to set all this up, have a look at my retro tutorial. It's all in there. All right, to save time then, let's get out of here. Boom, boom, boom. How exciting is this? I don't want to quit anything, in fact I just want to... <laughs> My apologies that's a little loud. Okay then, so that we know now that Nintendo 64 is working in Hyperlaunch. So in theory it should be working all over the place. Now what we need to do is set up Hyperspin to work in conjunction with Hyper HQ, or Hyperlaunch HQ, my apologies. Um, okay then, let's do this. So, yep, minimize this one, back to our Hyperspin folder, and in here you will find HyperHQ. Okay, HyperLaunch HQ is basically the engine, the thing that gets everything to run. Now what we want to do is tell it how to look. So, if you've done this a thousand times, then you, you probably know already what to do here, but let's do it. Anyway, open up HyperHQ, at the top you'll see these tabs, click on the wheel settings, Click on this little drop down menu here, find Nintendo 64, there we go. 
Okay, now you should be greeted with this screen. You don't need to touch anything apart from, click on the little folder next to the ROM path. There we go. And here you need to tell it again where all your games are. Basically this is so Hyperspin can audit all your games and supply art for the only games that you've got. I think we've got the entire collection, so in theory there's no real need to do this, but because it will show them, them all at the end of the day. However, we will do it because not everybody's got an entire collection of games all named correctly. So, let's do this. Um, hyperspin. Where, where are we going? Head still fried from all the alcohol. Um, ROMs. Jesus. Nintendo 64, right? There you go. And click OK. OK, now it knows where all my games are. Now I need to tell it what kind of file format they are. I've already know that this is uh, a compressed file, so I'm going to give it all the different variables that it could be for a compressed file. So, 7-zip, comma, no space, ra, comma, no space, and the zip, I think, is the last one. Um, you might have different ones. I think the different formats for it are all different variations of 64. So I think you can have V64, N64, A64, G64, I don't know. It, there's so many different file formats but basically whatever file format they are for each game um, input it in there remember you separate each file format by a comma with no spaces and it is case sensitive so be aware of that okay so next stage we have told it where the games are we've told it what kind of files they are so now it can audit all the games we'll sort out how it looks so um, I've got cart and box out on this one, so I want to turn all the wheel off completely. I then want to say that I want to go vertical because that's just the way I like it. These look okay. I usually go for 400 and 230 to 240 for that one. I do want to keep it animated, so that's all good. Okay, navigation and themes. I want to do it so it's ROMs only. I've got all the ROMs, so it doesn't make any difference anyway. Um, I want to do it so it's wheels only. I've got all the wheels as far as I'm aware of, so there's no need to do all that as well. Um, I want to tell it that to return to the last game so it doesn't start from the same game every time I open up that system. And I want to remove the text field info so it takes off where the game comes from. I just want another title of the game and that's it really. I don't need to know where it is. And okay, next one, video. This should work anyway. Um, I haven't hypersynced mine I don't think yet. So remember to hypersync all your videos for this one. And sound, I hate the game sounds. Uh, enable game sounds, so I'll turn that off because it sounds like shit. And enable wheel click sound, yes. Special art then. Okay, if you have a 360 pad, then I advise you to follow this procedure. If you haven't, leave it as default. Okay, my one is to turn everything off apart from special artwork be enabled. The first tick basically. I then change this to 500. I then change the next one to 384. And then change this to 1. Change this to 1. And I want the delay to be for 3 seconds. This should be fade and that should be none. This should be as that as default anyway, so there's no need to change those. Okay, then now I believe everything should be set up. The only thing that we will have issues with is make sure you now hypersync um, this system. So you need to basically tell it to only download the videos. Everything else should be in there, I believe. If you get the widescreen set up, I'll give you everything you need to get the widescreen set up working. So, hypersync it and, well, you know, from running basically. Just get the videos from hypersync. Or you can download them direct from Emmy Movies and put them in your video folder. Whatever you wish. Okay, so enough of that baffle. The only thing left to do is to change. When it pops up, there will be an ugly text in the bottom left hand corner. Go on to my tips and tricks video and that will show you, if you don't know already, how to edit the settings file to make it look like it's more free, well, it suits the system. I like it to be red and white to suit the Nintendo 64, but as you can see, it will be a little placed out the way and also it will be in silver. You can change that to suit the system. Um, Okay, enough of my waffling on. Let's actually see if this works. <laughs> I've probably done all this and it doesn't even work now. Uh, right, we've done all that. You don't need to click save because it does it automatically. So by theory, I can click X. Boom. And now by theory, we can click hyperspin. And it will load the system. And it will have everything going. Apart from the text in the bottom left-hand corner looking a bit dodgy. And I will need to hypersync all the videos. 
Other than that, it should be good to go. And it should be good to go on your setup too. Okay, we don't need to watch this. Let's go to uh, whether we set up Nintendo 64. Boom, there you go. Nice little theme going on there. I don't say so myself. Thank you, whoever did this. I think I got this off uh, Stifilis. <laughs> My uh, apologies if I pronounced that wrong. And there we go. Box art, car art, wheels, everything at the bottom. It's looking amazing. Obviously, like I said, we need to still download the uh, videos to go with all this. And look at my tips and tricks folder 2015 to uh, folder video to sort out where it says worm down again in the bottom left hand corner. You can change that to suit the actual uh, system. And there you go. Everything's popping up. I am amazing. You guys are amazing. The world's amazing. Right. Enough of me waffling. Good video. You guys enjoy it. Hopefully this will get you set up no problems. There is issues. Some games will have issues with RetroArch. There will be glitches within it. Um, later on in the series I'll be introducing more emulators. These emulators, uh, well the majority of the games will work. In fact probably I think it's like 95% of the games on Nintendo 64 now work with RetroArch. There will be some games which might be a bit dodgy. I'll show you how to reduce new emulators further down the line to get those working but to be honest every game that's worth playing is probably playing on this now. So there you go. Um, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, make sure you do everything that everybody else seems to do on YouTube and remember do not fucking buy drives. It's full of fat cunts who <laughs> basically rip you off and try and make money off you. Okay then guys, you have fun and I'll catch you later.